In this exercise, we'll complete the first item in our programming to-do list. We'll add a button to the app that says, hit me, and when you tap the button, we'll make the app print out a message. By doing this, you'll learn one of the fundamental techniques that you'll be doing all the time in iOS development, making an action the user performs, like tapping a button, run some code that you write. Open up Xcode and go to File, New, Project. There's a bunch of templates here, but we're gonna choose one of the basic ones. It's iOS Single View App Template. And for the product name, name your project Bull's Eye, all one word. Leave team as none. Doesn't matter what you put for these right now, but be sure to set the language to Swift. We're gonna be using Swift 4 throughout this entire course. And make sure all of these checkboxes are unselected. Click Next, choose a place to save it. I'm just gonna save it on my desktop. Now we wanna run this project to see what we have as a starting point. So up here, this is where you select where you want to run your project. You can run on your phone or simulators. We're gonna choose a simulator, in particular the iPhone SE. So select that and then hit play. That'll build your project and you see here that we just have a nice blank white screen to start with. Now we'd like to add a button to the screen. And the way you do that is by opening the storyboard over here in your list of files. Now, if this doesn't show for you, you wanna make sure the first tab is selected here, which is called your project navigator. So we'll open up main.storyboard, and this is how we can control the layout and all of the controls that are inside our app. So to do that, you gotta open up the utilities panel just by clicking this button in the upper right. And in the bottom of this is the different libraries. And if you open up the third tab of this, this is called the object library. This is where you can drag on different controls into your app like labels, buttons, and so on. So we want to drag a button into the app. So we'll just drag it in the middle and we'll double tap and we'll call it hit me like so. Now, if it doesn't fit for you, you can just use these to resize or you can use a shortcut I like to use, which is command equal, and that'll size it to exactly right. And we'll place this in the middle. Now, there's many different device sizes supported by iOS. And to keep things simple, right now we're just gonna make it work on one particular type of iPhone, the iPhone SE. Later on in this course, you'll learn how to make the apps work on any device size. Click on view as, and we're gonna move one over to the iPhone SE. Now notice this screen is a little smaller. So we gotta move this button again to get back in the middle for that particular device size. And now I'm gonna go ahead and run. We see our button on the screen and of course I can tap it. Now what I'd like to do is make it so that I tap this button and run some of my own Swift code. But where should that code go? To explain, I'd like to take a quick break and explain to you the concept of view controllers. A view controller's job is to manage a single screen, or in some cases, a portion of a screen in your app. Take this recipes app, for example. You have a list of recipes, and if you tap a recipe, it goes to show you the details for that recipe. In this example, there's two screens, so there would be two view controllers. Now in Bullseye, we only have one screen, so there's only one view controller, which the template has already created for us. A view controller typically consists of two parts. The first part we've already seen, in main.storyboard, that's where we configure the user interface for all of the view controllers in our app. Each view controller in the storyboard has a code file that goes along with it where you can add the app's logic. For example, some code to run when the user taps the button. Let's see how this storyboard is connected to some Swift code. To do that, open up the utilities panel again and make sure this panel over here is visible. To do that, you just gotta click this button over here to the left of view as. It's called the document outline. So if it's not visible for you, just click the button to show it up. And then expand everything here and click on where it says view controller here. And then up here, this is, this is all of your inspectors. You wanna choose the third tab here, which is the identity inspector. And you can see that this class is connected to a code file called view controller. Oh, right over here in your, in your project navigator and it's already been created for you by the template. So go ahead and click on that, and we're gonna add some code in here to be called when that button is tapped. Just type along with me right now. IB action, func, show alert, two parentheses, open and close curly brace. And inside here, type in print with two parentheses, and inside there, type in hello world. Now, we'll, you'll learn in great detail what every little bit of this means, but for now, we're just gonna do some baby steps and follow along with me. Next, we need to connect this bit of code we just ran to that button. So how do we do this? So back in main.storyboard, back in this document outline, find that button that you added. 
and hold down the control button and drag from that up to the view controller. It will automatically detect that show alert method that we wrote. So I can just click that and now they're connected. And just to prove that they're connected, you can open up the utilities panel again and go over to the far right uh, inspector here. It's called the connection inspector. And this shows us that when the user touches up their finger inside that button, it's going to call that code we just wrote. And you can see it one more way by going to the view controller and there's a little dot right here. And if I tap it, it shows, hey, they're connected. Now we can build and run. And if I tap the button, it shows hello world down here in the console.